<laughs> yeah, yo, new people, this is Nate here. This Kev. Hey, yo, we are Games Music Life. This is the Games Music Life, I'm sorry, podcast episode 122. 22, okay. Yeah. Okay, 122. Yeah. 122 of them things. In them books. Took a week off last week, life took over. Um, We figured we'd talk, it's a lot to talk about this week. Yeah. A lot to get into. Uh, we'll talk about Goat Box. And, uh, Go box, and then, L box. You know what I mean? Talk about the Go box. box. Yo, I got I to pop my collar today for the Xbox lovers out here. You mm. know what I mean? They still got that whack shoe, though. They still had a whack Jordan. They it was did a get Jordan. cooked. It was a Jordan. They gave him a Jordan 1 mid disrespect. Yeah, yeah that was it. The mid part was a disrespectful part. Yeah. That's, that's the part where I want to yeah. throw hands with somebody about. But the, the laces was kind of dope. But the PlayStation ones are complete heat rock. Yeah. We'll, we'll put it up here let you take a look. But, yo, let's throw that we always do. We've been playing. What you been playing, bro? Uh, man, I've been still playing that State of Decay. You okay. know what I'm saying? Now still it's walk. No, 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 no. <laughs> I, done, I done figured it out, man. I got okay. my community built up. We living good, man. You know okay. what I'm saying? Ain't no zombies. Ain't no zombies? Like, what's a zombie? We out here. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? We out here. We so living good. fortified everything up? Oh, yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? At this point, I'm, I'm just running things. You okay. know what I'm saying? We we out here. Everybody want to join up, man. You know, if you got uh, if you got commendable skills, yeah. maybe I'll let you, you jump in the camp. Otherwise, yeah. you got to kick rocks. Okay. I'm uh, going to definitely yeah. get in. I'm going to get in there. Um, For me, anything else? I'm sorry. I mean, no, no, no. You're okay. all good, man. Uh, outside of that, man, you know, just regular 2K runs 2K, every 2K here runs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll but, yeah, you got to get on this state of the case. I've been waiting on you. Like, now I'm, I'm fortified, so I can, I can get you together. Cool. So I can just join ready. in and just piggyback on your success. You don't want to You don't want to jump in my game because, like, you know what I'm saying? It's it's, it's, it's the way things go. It's can a little bit of learning. Game? Yeah, I can learn I can learn into your game good. so that way I can, you know what I'm saying, Does your level fall over? Uh, you don't really level. It's just uh, now I know where the things are. Like, does your I, resources I'm, and your character come over? Yes. Cool. Yes. So we can help. I need help with that because I don't. I want you to come in in straight God mode. I don't want to be no, no, no. It, it won't be anything like that. I see, mean, see, I need that, man. Nah, nah. It doesn't don't work like that. But I know the strategies now. Okay. To to help you survive. Okay, we'll get on that tonight. Though. Yeah, we'll yeah, get, yeah. get on that tonight. Me, just Destiny too. Uh, been leveling up my second character. Been been uh, trying to get everybody else on. I'm gonna get you back on too. Is it back? Like I mean, you've Bro, been cranky gr- kind of kind of yeah, regular. Yeah, now. the grind is back, man. It's it's fun again. Really? It's, they've added a lot of stuff into the game that makes you progression wise, just stuff to do. Mm-hmm. You know, and um, trying to get all the homies back in. So I think if we can, I can get you on. I got Lil Nate back playing again. Me and him played last night. I don't um, believe it, man. He'd be he on is. that Fortnite. Nah, he been on Fortnite Solid. crazy. Yeah, but um, he's no, he's playing Destiny two again. Before I left, he was actually asking about. Doing man, you been cranking that Fortnite too, or no, he just rocking no. dual controllers like no, no, that's games uh, going simultaneously. He, Malik's here. Oh Malik's yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, okay, so. okay, okay. Yes, yeah, so he's playing man, too. Give him that switch, man. Stop no, playing. Heck no, heck stop no. playing, man. Yo, man, he would have that thing looking so beat up. Man. He's the only <laughs> kid I know that will wreck anything technology wise. He don't respect tech. Oh man, so I give him his own switch. Oh man, he just. I let him use my controller one time because his controller died. I let him use my controller. It, it had never been the same. Oh, I had wow. to buy a new controller, man. Came back greasy. Yes, you man. Know what I'm just, button just sticking. Straight, just, I don't know what he does. He's playing with his feet or something. No, oh, man. Um, but no. So, no, that's not me playing Fortnite. That's actually them playing it. Okay. And Cause it, I, listen, I'll be, I be seeing it. It's like, yo, I, I see. And I ask You him got too. your profiles on playing. <laughs> his profiles on playing. They on PlayStation playing. I'm like, yo. <laughs> This is madness. Like, what is going on? On their phone playing. Man, listen. Yeah, listen, it's sick. Fortnite is life, man. I Fortnite so. came in and wrecked the buildings, man. Yeah. And it's so, it's the same stuff over and over. I, I would have thought it would have been over by now, but uh, nah, man. It's, it's, it's a going, phenomenon. I take him to his strong. baseball game the other day, and the kids are out in the outfield doing Fortnite dances. I'm like, mm, man, wow. they, they didn't took over. <laughs> but that's it. That, I'm not playing anything other than Destiny 2. Oh, and Street Fighter. I'm playing a lot of Street Fighter online um, on the Switch. That's that, uh, the 30th? Uh, the 30th uh, edition. Okay. So I've been playing that. And uh, that's it, man. Okay. That's it. That's all I've been playing. Yeah. All right, man. So let's get into it, man. 2K19 was announced. Mm. Uh, Lathanos is going to be the special athlete on the cover. So it's going to be geared around him again. Yeah. Lathanos, man. What do you think about that? Uh, You know, I did notice that uh, they did not include that Cleveland jersey. Just a headshot <laughs> of the king. <laughs> You, you know. picked up on that. Yeah. I did not pick yeah, up on that. I did catch that. You know, Ugh. somebody was actually kind of running through, and uh, they were going through the cover athletes, and it's almost like a cover curse. It is. Every time is. Uh, somebody gets cover athlete, they change teams. Yes. Kyrie did it. Paul yeah. George did it. Yeah. Uh, I think James Harden. I think, did James Harden get the cover? I don't remember. No, he's going to cover live. Okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, but uh, he switched teams. Uh, yeah, man. Happens yeah. a lot. So, uh, I don't Ooh, know, man. I don't, I don't know. Anything. Maybe. I mean, listen, you didn't think Madden curse meant anything. Yeah, I know. It meant, it meant a lot. It did. Yeah. It did. I mean, yeah. As long as I put no Eagles on the cover, I'm good to go. Eagles got the cover this year. Do they? Yeah. No, they won't. Cursed. No, they won't. Carson Wentz and, uh, and your boy Nick Foles. Please. <laughs> you would say that. <laughs> Both of them on the cover. You would say that. <laughs> Ring ceremony was a day. Man, shout out to my Eagles. Man. You know? Uh, T.O. got special edition. Yes. So I don't I don't think that he's uh, the cover. Right. They have to vote on it. Yeah. O
Mm. Well, Carson Wentz was hurt. Nick Foles hasn't picked up enough steam to really be on the cover. They're gonna both so be Eagles on the cover, man. Eagles are whole Eagles team. Nope. Well, not with at all. the Super Bowl race. I will be. I'll be the first thing to eat. Yeah, I don't know where they got Oregon <laughs> or whatever. I will be on the first thing smoking. <laughs> on their front lawn. No, yeah. <laughs> that can't happen. Yeah. All right, man. So Fallout uh, seventy six, one of the games that was launched. This one stood out to me because it's multiplayer. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that multiplayer <laughs> Fallout game. Like, it could be dope in theory, but I have a feeling it'll be like Elder Scrolls Online. I couldn't really rock with that. Yeah. So, I don't, I don't know. I thought about I you know. when they announced it because you always used a champion. You and the Desert, you always a champion Fallout. And I remember I bought it. We played it on stream a couple times on our earlier podcasts. Don't go watch those. <laughs> um, and I always, I never got it. You know what I mean? Like, I, I like the fact that whenever, you know, you made a decision, it would affect the later portions of the game. Uh-huh. But it was never my thing. I always felt if I could go through this game with someone else just talking and having that aspect of multiplayer, to me, it, it answered all my prayers when it came to Fallout. Really? See, yes. I don't think I don't think that that would be a good thing because in Fallout, the, the thing that uh, is kind of key uh, as far as those uh, games go is the conversations that you have with the NPCs. Yeah. So it's like, yo, the choices that you make in those conversations really make a big difference. If I've got somebody else there, mm-hmm. it's like, how does that actually work out? Because, like, am I not going to talk to the NPCs? And, you know what I'm saying? Are, are the decisions that they make going to impact me? Yeah. Like, how does that exactly what, But what if out? the game is exactly the same as you played in the past, except for you just playing with another person? I don't see how that works. Like, the mechanics of the game, that doesn't really seem... Uh, uh, fallible, in, in my opinion. So you know what you're going to deal with? You're going to deal with exactly what I dealt with with Destiny 2, mm. is they made it for the casual. Maybe. You know, I, you know I, mean? I, I might I might just skip it. I don't even know if I'm going to play You're going to skip a Fallout? Yeah, because that that's ain't really... series. But that ain't really Fallout, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, what I loved about <laughs> Fallout, that's not it. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's, it's almost like when they made that uh, that Metal Gear Solid with just riding. Uh-huh. And uh, it, was like a, it was like a sword fighting game. It was like, uh, but t- this ain't Metal on, Gear but, Solid or we'll Metal Gear Tactics. Metal like, Gear what ta- is this? Well, we'll break it down to me then, Kev. So what would be the s- systematic difference from having... Fallout being a single player game than multiplayer. Like, what would be the biggest difference? Well, I mean, uh, in playing Fallout, like you got to understand, like your your character story is all the progression. That's what the whole game is about. Is just your character story and kind of figuring out which path you're going to take uh, through that character story. Okay. So if I'm playing in multiplayer, uh, how like are all the characters going to have a different story? I would doubt it. You know what I'm saying? Just yeah. because it's multiplayer. But what would it be like? Or, are we not really going to have much of a story? Is it going to be more like built on like more community focus, where it's like, oh, you got to build things with other people in this group well that's what they said though a lot of like building is a big key in this one yeah like that ain't fallout like that. yeah i'm yeah. saying like that's that's not fallout so okay. it's, uh, i don't know it's, it's almost it's a different game with a fallout skin i don't really like maybe, that maybe fallout didn't jump the shark man I mean, I feel like I mean they they've done Elder Scrolls Online for a long time, yeah. But you know what I'm saying that game wasn't for me. Like I I like you know what I'm saying Oblivion and and uh, the other games, but I, Elder Scrolls Online wasn't for me. You well, know what I'm saying? I, yeah. I mean, a lot of people were talking about it. Which, Skyrim. Yeah, Skyrim too. A lot of people were talking about which which in, I mirrored their thoughts is Fallout fell in line with their press conference, Bethesda's press conference. It really made no sense. Yeah. Like their press conference literally was. It was it was it was funny at certain points like they had Key and Peele they drug him out and was talking about uh, <laughs> the um, Skyrim joke making the laughing joke because Skyrim was on everything and it was gonna be on Alexa yeah. but um, the press conference really just was weird and and this Fallout game a lot of people are saying exactly what you're saying which is it's a weird feel like they don't know how to take it like you know? it's just it's not Fallout like I mean yeah. it's 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 just something else you know what I've, else I've noticed man What's that? you don't play a lot of these open world like uh, ga- like I'm surprised that you played Witcher because like Witcher and Fallout are along the same lines as far as like how those games play Witcher? but like did you play Skyrim no I like, didn't like Skyrim I, you know what the Witcher because I didn't like the art style Skyrim looked like it was uh, a, a Atari 86 graphics at times I didn't like it I was gonna play on the PC but at mm-hmm. that point it was just far too far gone i didn't get to the hype and um the witcher the story was just so fire and the fact that he was had so many like mythical so powers skyrim, skyrim story was fire but, but you know what these are games that you have to invest a lot of time yeah. in before you really see you know what i'm saying kind of what makes it so fire man i i tried skyrim i loaded it up that very first scene where you're fighting the dragon uh-huh. and you're, you're going through and the dragon kills you i powered off and put something else in start playing mad like that's like fallout too yeah. it's like yo what like what doesn't click for you i like, don't know those games are amazing i think it's the art I think it's the way it's drawn because Borderlands isn't really too different. Like looter nah, shooters. Uh, I mean, it's Sky or uh, Fallout's not a shooter. It's not. Not at all. Okay. Yeah, I mean, like 
as far as like Fallout 3 especially, it's like, yo, most of the time you didn't really do the shooting. Like you would go into VATS, you would kind of select the moves that you wanted to do mm-hmm. and they would execute. But the game isn't isn't based around the, uh, the fighting world, at all. Though? It is it's totally open. See, that's world. what I'm saying. Well, Borderlands is open world. That's why I was trying to compare is it to. Is Borderlands open world? Yeah. I guess I guess you would consider it open world, but I don't know. Like it always kind of felt like one of those games where you move into sections and then you kind of stay in that section for a while and then you move on to the next section. Yeah. So it was like it was open world where you could go around where you wanted to, but uh-huh. I like these. I, I really enjoy those story based games where it's like, yo, I really got to kind of dig deep. The choices matter, you know what I'm saying? The choices are real, uh-huh. and uh, the cho- I, you know I think that's what I really like about State of Decay. It's like, yo, the choices are permanent. Like yeah. what happens? Like yeah. the the odds are real here. Uh-huh. Uh, and I, I love those sort of games. Like those those games encompass. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. What it is to be out here, really getting it rocking. Gotcha. gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. So and 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 not to mention State of Decay is another Xbox game that you're playing. You're actually an Xbox player on the low. And uh, I, yeah, listen, you, they got one. Right? <laughs> they, so, got, they, got, they, they got a lot. They got one. Hey, okay. All right, All right. man. Okay. All right. So let's get into it, man. Xbox and Sony both have huge summer sales. You copping anything? Uh no no I, I thought about buying that Dragon Ball Fighter Z but it was it was still like forty bucks I was like eh. nothing moved me I mean uh there was um Horizon Zero Horizon Zero Dawn was nineteen ninety nine for the um game game of the year it ought to be game of gold here yeah, in a yeah. couple months so I that's, that's what I think is gonna happen so I'm gonna yeah. wait on that plus I just wonder like I don't know if that's really you know my type of game I hear it's pretty good. Um, but I don't know. I don't know if I'll play it. So I mean, if I pick it up, it'll just be to add it. I mean, it looks it looks fire. I play does. it for free. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it does. It is. All right, man. So E three. Yeah, it happened. Let's Sony wins it. once again. Let's talk about it. So yeah. let's talk about Sony. All right. Let's First of all, have you watched it? Did you Did you see the heat that Sony brought? Uh, yeah. I mean, okay. I watched the, I watched the recap. Okay. You know what I mean? So That's you didn't miss it. That's pretty much it. Yeah. All right. Let's start with Sony. So Sony. They had some heat. I'm not going to lie. They had yeah, some very sweet games. What you expect? But no, I, that's not what I expect. The thing is with Sony, though, is it's a bunch of stuff I'll never play. Why? Now, because I just don't get into... The I think it's just us, the hate in your heart. No, it's not. Yes. It's not. I'm, it's I'm not. sticking with it. It's the hate in your heart. You it's know what I'm Let that hate the out. La- the Last of Us looked amazing. Now, we'll play a ninja game. The okay. ninja game looked good. Uh, the Ghost of Tsushima? Yeah, there it is. That. Yeah. I like that little demo they showed. That was pretty Fire. Dope. Um... I just don't like the the um, Last of Us looked mm-hmm. amazing. Now though, I, I've told you before, Game's the, Fire, the Last of Us, the first one. I watched it like a movie. Someone took all the cuts. Like you know, Kev, for somebody Kev, who doesn't no like way. spoilers, there's no way. You know what I'm saying? Like that Kev. sure does seem like spoiling a game. Okay, <laughs> watching the cutscene movie. There, there is no Boo. way I can play that game. Well, she's in there first, and in the, in the, even the intro or the video they showed. It was a little weird, but I like that it was weird because, mm-hmm. you know, when it goes into the whole thing where she's kissing the girl, so this is a flashback or this is not even really happening. And then it focused to her stabbing somebody, you know. Yeah. So, you know, like I said, that's another game that I, I literally, I can appreciate it. And I know it sounds different, but I can appreciate the games that Sony makes and I recognize their first party titles are fire. Like, But it's nothing I'm going to play. I Like, you know, I don't I don't see how you would not play Last of Like, but did you, did you ever end up playing Uncharted? No. Okay, so because uh, I mean, Last of Us is just really uncharted with with zombies. See, I don't right? like zombies with monsters. Good. Like, get the fear out of nah, your heart, I man. It's just it. a game, and it's a fire game. If we it's can play, the, if we can play a co op, I'll play it. But if I can't play, I gotta play the. How alone. do you play? How do you play Gears with? Uh, you know what I'm saying? Homies. All, <laughs> so with the homies, man. I'm invested with oh. Gears, man. And it, it is because Gears is not. It's the whole thing about a zombie is just weird to me, man. Like, I mean, like they're like I mean they're just monsters. Like I mean, first of all, in Last of Us, they don't even really look like zombies. They just look they're just monsters. I'm all about a squad, man. I'm all about squat squatted it up and nah, playing the game. Man. That's nah. what I'm all about. Nah. Yeah. Like those like games you, where you can play co op, there that's cool and all that, yeah. man. But I'm saying if you want to get you know entrenched in an excellent story, man, uh-huh. those single player games are where it's at. Yeah, only single. I player think that's why you don't like PlayStation, man, because PlayStation always comes with the single player game heat. Oh and yeah, they, they untuck the heat that, rock. That, that might that, that definitely games. is probably. It's not that I hate PlayStation. It's just that you the, do, the, man. The, no, you use it as a media that, center, that, man. It's just you purely disrespect it. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's the greatest console of all time, and it might just be disrespected. It might be. It's just a it's like it's like flipped upside down. Yes, in your yeah, living room, absolutely. man. It's like jacked up. Yeah, it's, it's Jimmy rigged and everything. Yeah, so like, like Last of Us. Like yes. you were okay. So I'm not. I'm sorry. Not Last of Us. Death Stranding. Death Stranding. Did yes. you watch the demo? Absolutely, man. You were not confused by that. Bruh, See, what you are you talking saying, about? You kept saying that. Like, how do you? Like, it, bro, I donated another <laughs> ten. Okay, I put another ten on it, man. Because in Hideo, we trust. All right? Whatever it takes to get the game done, I'm with it. It looks amazing. 
Yes. It looks dope. Fire. So I think that baby that, that he was using as a battery was his clone, though. Yeah, I'm I sure it was. That. But that was weird to me. But in every, It'll all make sense when the game comes. Yeah, that's what everyone said. But yeah. and Metal Gear Solid had weirdness like that, too, right? It did, but they, they always made sense of it, so that way yeah. you understood what was going on. Yeah. And it was like, yo, that mystery in those games, you know what I'm saying, kept you on the edge of your feet. It's like, man, what's going on? What's happening? Yeah. I gotta know. Okay. It, it, it kept you, you know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. entrenched in these games and just going forward. Yeah. But, you know, I, I'm now I'm starting to, I'm, I realize what it is, even though <laughs> it, it seems like you pick and choose uh-huh. where you go with this, but, like, I don't think you like single-player games. I kind of don't. Like, some of them I do, but though. you but you play them all the time, man. Uh, like this is the this is the main excuse that you make for the Switch. What's that? Like, first of all, how do you not like <laughs> single player games? But you're all in for the Switch. It's a platformer. Like, it's got nothing but single player but games. It's a lot of platformers. Are, you're not going to Jimmy rig your whole uh, Switch up to play online. No, I'm no, it's a handheld. I don't want to hear that. The Switch uh, is a handheld. A <laughs> like, no, 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 I don't want to hear that. Trap. It might be. You might. You might have. You might have untouched you, something. I you, don't know. You crap on open world uh, story based <laughs> games. Love Zelda, Breath of the Wild. <laughs> I'm tired of you, man. I'm tired of your crap. <laughs> You might have saw through you, boy. I don't know. <laughs> All I know is, uh, you put a zombie in a game, I'm not going to be there unless we can play it together. I'm not going to do it, man. You understand, in, a zo- in my mind, the zombie apocalypse is happening. And I'm going to log off, No. Man. Like, they're not, like, just don't even think of them as zombies. They're just monsters. All right, cool. I will say, though, I was I was telling the wife, I am going to probably pick up Last of Us 2. Because I do want to, she, because she watched it, and she was like, you know, it looks pretty good. And she was like, what was going on? Because uh-huh. the girls were kissing, and she didn't know what the heck was going on. <laughs> you know, why she logs off from that. Yeah. But um, when it zoomed over her stabbing that person, and it was like, I got to tell her what was going on. But I do wonder about how they're going to pick up on the story. Because we didn't see the, the guy in that demo. We got to think he's in the game, too. The yeah. guy was in the first. I forget the name. The guy who protected her or whatever. I forget his name, too. Uh, but, uh, I forget yeah. his name. He's not important. Ellie is the main character. so yeah, For the most part, yeah. For the most part. But I, I definitely probably going to pick that one up. Cause I do want to... I find like when I'm watching them, I'm invested. Like I watch those movies from like The Last of Us, the first one. So I, I figure if I'm playing it, it's gotta be a heck of a lot. Bro, how do you hate spoilers? Watch demo movies. I don't know. Boo, <laughs> boo. <laughs> Let's move on. Xbox. Well, Xbox untucked the heat. You know what I'm saying? What heat? Oh what no, 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 no! Wait, 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 wait. No, go ahead. Well, uh, before we go on to this Xbox, bro, how my brother uh-huh. are you just going to skip over the greatest superhero game of all time? Spider Man that has good. been unleashed it on good. the PlayStation Spider- Four. I'm going to pick up Spider Man, my buddy. Spider Man's going to get it. Okay, I'm going to get Spider Man. Right. That, that right. game looked amazing. Yeah, it looks like the best game you've ever seen. Nothing. No, not Xbox, definitely. Xbox has never done anything like this before. <laughs> all right, just admit it. Just, it's, it's, it's definitely the best superhero game of all time. Already. No, what are you talking about? You, are you forget the Arkham series. Arkham was trash. Wow. Yeah. Arkham was trash? Trash. <laughs> trash. I, I, I played those games for like five minutes. I was like, all right, yeah, this is butt. I, but Spider-Man's a lot of the same. No. Yes. Mm-mm. It's, Mm-mm. It basically, this is Arkham Asylum with, with Spider-Man. No. It's <laughs> Maybe Spider-Man's just better. Like, first of all, it can't be Arkham Asylum because uh, Batman being DC... Already kind of, but I'm saying already like, kind of notches it a little okay, bit but below. On, but on Arkham, the, the all the prisoners broke out of the prison, and that's pretty much happened. This happened to Spider Man, same exact thing. Yeah, but it, I mean, it was all the. Uh, uh, we ain't gonna tell the yeah, whole story, yeah, but yeah. yeah, man, listen, looks like the greatest that. game of all that time. That looks good. That yeah. looks good. I think is the movie gonna come around that time too. Maybe I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know. I don't care. All but, right, back to your L box, yeah. Xbox, uh, Goat box. Go ahead, you know we'll, we'll get through it Bro, quick. Yeah, ain't Phil, much to talk about. Brother Phil came out and might have said about 50 words the entire press conference. You know, he kept showing, yeah, that, much showing that heat rock. The thing about Xbox, though, in all honesty, man, they really are just going to be the platform where you can play your games. Their, their focus is playing your games at the best level as far as look wise and, and, and up to you know, that's whatever. what they'd have that's what they have you believe we got a new gears coming gears Ooh. 5 was announced man they, they're out here they're just milking that cow for everything you got gears good. tactical yep. gears yep. pop the gears tactics was only on uh on pc and the gears pop i was nervous at that when they first showed that i'm like ooh, this is xbox gotta show something and they showed the first they started off with halo which they might as well about? just go ahead and put that on the switch for that gears pop yeah yeah, yeah i'm excited tell, about that tells you uh, what, what they, direction they're going <laughs> the biggest thing they did though they, they signed those five studios who are these and, studios uh, these, these studios, studios ain't done nothing studios make some good games what man. they make i don't i didn't write yeah. it down and i don't yeah. fact check all uh, i know is they in, made in phil spencer we trust Never. xbox is not taking this this war line down they already took the you know L. What I'm saying? And, they, and they announced that they're going to put it on you can play it on your phone Everything. It's going to be like kind of like the Steam system. You want to stream that thing everywhere. Desperate pleas for attention. Box. Lost. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm, I'm going to tell you what mm. let me know that uh, 
Xbox has already just accepted their L. Tell me. Is the fact that they already are announcing that the new console is coming in 2020. But you, that lets me know. No. That lets me know that, uh-huh. okay, listen, this generation is done. We take our L. We lost. I we mean, we suck. We don't have anything going on. <laughs> so just hang tight with us for two years. Okay. And then maybe we can redeem ourselves in two years. We're 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 plotting a See, course I think totally for different. two years out. I think they 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 showed the, the fact that they have the new studio. That's an coming. ambition of defeat. They showed that they got the new games coming. They got the Halo coming, Halo Infinity. Mm-hmm. They got the new gears. They showed nothing but heat. But a lot of stuff was multi platform. There was no heat. What what is on what is on Sony? Besides those four games, those those other games. That's, that a, lot games that's a lot of we games. That we got we got coming in the next year. They got they, their studios are going to have some heat. But I'm saying like if you're not going to play those games, I'm playing them. You're going to play them. But a lot of people, some people, aren't. everybody's going to play. I mean, uh, you, you talk this crap about God of War. Look at what the numbers God of War is putting up. God of War out here good. doing backflips. Yeah. Uh, uh, Horizon out here doing backflips. Yeah. All right. Uh, Ghost of Tsushima going to do backflips. Mm-hmm. Spider Man already sold outsold everything that's ever came out uh, with the exception of Grand Theft Auto. Uh-huh. Uh, Death Stranding. Cult classic already. It hasn't even released yet. All right. <laughs> like, what more do you want? What I don't more know. do you want? I don't know. I got, I what, don't. What does, well, let me ask you this. What does uh-huh. Xbox have that's doing this? Uh, Pirate Booty or whatever that game hey, is yeah. called? I don't know. They, I saw that they were uh, highlighting that. Yeah. Trash. Yeah. Yeah. People, people were excited about it, though. Xbox fans. You gotta, are, if you're an see, Xbox owner, you have to be excited about yeah, something. Yeah, they do. That's the thing. I don't think that... I don't think that um, that Xbox or Microsoft is keen on grabbing new people because at this point everybody's chosen what system they're going to play their the games on. They've already conceded all the they, loss. Yes, all they can do they're just mailing keep, it in at this keep point. Keep the Xbox fans happy, and they did that. They, they didn't do that. Yeah, they did. They gave they us didn't. gears. Another Halo. Halo and, uh, Five was garbage. <clears throat> Nobody wants Halo Six. They won. Uh, that last gears, you don't even play it. Yeah, I beat it. We beat it. Did you play it with me? No, no I, I didn't Sean play it. it. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, but I you mean, beat it though. Yeah, I did beat it. I, I beat it before you. You. Just, you hate Dom so much that you crap. Dom was <laughs> dead, wasn't it? Yes, yeah, yeah, so, But this is all this comes right? from your hate for Dom. He was no, a, you no, didn't no, play no. with no you know, I like I like Gears one through three. I okay. played those games a lot. Even though even with my hate of Dom, uh-huh. you know what I'm saying? Uh Coltrane still was my favorite. Yeah. I mean, you know what I'm saying? But Gears four was just oh, trash. They, they laid it on thick a little bit with Coltrane. They did lay it on thick a little bit with Coltrane. You know what I'm saying? But when I be playing that uh multiplayer, he come out there. That's that's nothing better. None better. Yeah. You know Nothing what I'm saying? Better. Yeah, yeah. Gotta have a Coltrane, but um, yeah, man. Like, yeah, they show Cyberpunk for uh for her Xbox. Trash. It's gonna be dope. Trash. People with nuts. I'll be honest with you. I'm not even gonna wave the flag like I like I'm a big Cyberpunk fan. Cause I don't know what that was. Mm-hmm. All I know is when it happened, everybody went nuts. Even even some did people they? gave it up. Like yo, this did is gonna they? be dope. Yeah, they did. I didn't they see They did. That. That's gonna be another one. Part. But I don't know if it's gonna be on Xbox only though. Probably not. Yeah, so I don't know. But it is still going to be some guard. That's why PlayStation wouldn't have even bothered to mention it. They're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You throw, you throw your little <laughs> game on our platform. You're welcome. Sony didn't show. Sony showed. Their press conference was kind of weird, too. Um, people were complaining about it. They had like a it. concert in the Yeah, it was like, it was weird. It, it was, was just weird. weird. But e- you can e- listen. <laughs> when you got the best stuff out, man, you man, can do what they, you want. They, and I said that, too, to you. Like, yo, these, these is a, this is an arrogant press conference. Yeah, you they were like, you know you what, want. man, just, we're going to do it. They were the first ones who announced earlier that they were going to show like three or four games. But then also, they got their own PlayStation experience coming up at the end of the year. So they'll show yeah. probably more at that point because yeah. they're not giving away. E3 to jump the shark, man. That's why I'm glad we went a long time ago. Not going anymore. But what about Nintendo, though? Uh... What, did they have much? Is they, is Pokemon, it quiet. Smash Brothers, uh, Smash, Smash Brothers look pretty fun. Yeah, but they keyed on that for like uh, that 30 Pokemon. Minutes. I don't know about that man. If it's not open world, we don't really want it. Okay. If it's not open world turn based like uh, the the Pokemon's of the past, we don't, we don't really we don't want, want that. Yeah, yeah the, no. I don't know why they haven't released uh, the Pokemon uh, Red and Blue. Just redid them. Yeah, I don't I don't know why they refused to come up with a proper <laughs> open world game for Pokemon for the Switch. I'd buy one. I'd buy one day one yeah, yeah. for that. But, but they just refused. But we don't know if this one is it though. I mean, we it might be it because the PlayStation, uh, not PlayStation. I'm sorry. The, um, Pokemon Go is going to integrate. Your characters can integrate with the game. So they kind of nobody's did, playing Pokemon Go anymore. Like, no, let's be clear. They're trying to get people back into it. But Pokemon Go was was the thing. It was for a while. fire. For you a little played bit, it yeah, too. I played it. Yeah, I little lady was walking around blocks and everything. Like, oh, yeah. cool! I can look for Pokemon. But they got the Pokeball that's coming out too. That's going to be kind of sweet. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Gimmicks. It is gimmicks, man. At this point, that the, the Switch is a gimmick. I mean, the whole thing is a gimmick. That's what they pride yeah. themselves on. You know, and they're going to sell those things in droves. They need to. They need to take a cue. From the best ever TBE PlayStation, (laughs) 
just come with the fire. Just come you with make, the fire? You make the great games, the people will come. They That's why ev- everybody switch is just collecting dust, man, because it's like, yo, y'all get a game for a month, and then that's over with. Kirby came for a month, that's yep. over with. That yep. Super Mario came for a month, that's yep. over with. Zelda is a, a forgotten afterthought at this point. But, yeah, because it's been out for a while. But Where's so, the DLC? But, I thought the DLC was supposed to, you know, keep it going. I didn't even play the DLC. Uh, but, the, but Nobody the, but, cares. But Smash Brothers is going to have everybody into it for a while. And they're, they're Smash already, might be a help. And they also released the, the GameCube controller. They released a special edition GameCube controller that's going to work on it, too. Eh. But that's... The Smash community... I, I mean, I wasn't a big Smash player, but that is the thing that got everybody going crazy. Yeah. Like, you listen, I'm, I'm here for the Smash Brothers. I, I might pick one up to play Smash Brothers if it's if it's tight like yeah. it's supposed to be. So what was the sweetest game you saw, E3? Death Stranding. Death Stranding? So you give your yeah, word Death Stranding? let's go. Okay. Yeah. yeah you- I, and, you know, I saw Xbox try to come with their their little puny, uh, like, Ninja Warrior game trying to uh, take the thunder from Ghost of Tsushima. Uh-huh. And, like, it was just so pathetic. <laughs> like, they, they didn't even want to show any gameplay of it because they were like, yo, listen, we tried to do something similar, give you guys was, an experience, even, like, with the best That wasn't even a first-party title, man. That was, like, a third-party title they, turned, they showed. It don't look like it's coming to PlayStation. You know why? Because PlayStation <laughs> already has a better iteration of a game like that. There was a game. So don't they, waste your time. It was a game they showed. It was a, uh, it was a fox. It's called Tunic. Mm-hmm. And it was a fox, and it was a um, like a Zelda type game. Sad. Yeah, it looked good. Sad. It like good. look, look they're, they're just good. out here. They're just grasping for straws yeah, at this point, good. man. Like these are signs of des- these are desperate attempts. Yeah. You know, this is the sign of a failing company. No. Nah, a, a company that's all. going under. Not at all. Listen, not, if, that next, if that next Xbox, you know what I'm saying, does not hit in 2020, uh-huh. it's over. Nah, it's over. They're gonna hang up their hat, sell the IPs, man. and just and just disband the band. Nah, they're here. I don't think any. I don't think they're ever going to give it up. They make too much money. So are they? Yep. Are they? Yep. I don't know. I'll say the game. I'll say the game that lost a lot of steam for me. Even though I didn't get to play because we didn't go to E three, but Anthem. I thought they could have. Um, you see the Anthem? It's, What's the Anthem? I can't remember. It was like like a like, kind of like a Destiny clone. You, oh yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah. I remember so now. Uh, a lot of people were talking about it, though. They said the videos and they showed it looked good, but to me, like it's not coming out with PVP. It's mm-hmm. only going to be PVE. Um, so I wonder if they're going to have enough to play on that game. I'm kind of worried mm-hmm. about it. Yeah, and the fact this is the not. same team that did uh, Bio uh, was it uh, not Bioshock? I'm sorry, uh, Mass Effect Andromeda, and that was a dud. So yeah. this is the same. You know, team. a lot of people actually came around to that game. Really? Yeah. Well, later it on, it started off so bad. Yeah. Later on, once they got, I guess once they kind of got it fixed and built it out right, a lot of people came back around for that. Yeah. But uh, uh, oh man, there was one game that I did want to talk about that uh, that uh, we forgot about. Man, is. Um, what was the game we were just, the division two? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I forgot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, yeah, it's right over it. Yeah. I'm here for that. That yeah, game I'm ready. is fire. Yeah. Well, we gotta get back on Division One because I guess there's certain things from Division One uh-huh. that carry over to Division and Two. Okay. Yeah. I, we had to make sure we ready. Yeah, we gotta definitely do that. We gotta get ready for that because we was playing the heck out of that game. Yeah, I'm I'm um, I'm staying with it this time. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna rock through and yeah. you know nothing sucks. Yeah. But, <laughs> <laughs> I will fuck middle of that. You know what I'm yeah. saying? <laughs> I will I will turn coat very quickly on that game. Trade that boy. But right uh, I, I do wanna I do wanna play. I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, that one looked dope. Yeah. All right, man. So that's it in a nutshell, man. E3 came and went. That was a lot of gaming news. It man. was. It definitely a lot of gaming, man. I applaud hey, for man. For our, for our uh, watchers that to watch us for our gaming news, man, yeah. feel good about that. Absolutely. Right? We put we actually put some time in. Yeah. You know, still not researching it. PlayStation One. Yeah, whatever. Xbox. <laughs> All right, man. So Chaos got swept. Yeah, yeah. You know what? Uh, I I hope that we got the old footage uh, <laughs> during like the Eastern Conference Finals when I was telling you, I'm like, you know. Cavs might not get a game, okay? Yeah? Yeah, I was yeah. Like, at best we're going to get a gentleman sweep, but it might just be a straight-up broom. Yeah, yeah. It, yeah. It, yeah. The thing is that what got me, too, is that they were competitive in most of the games. I mean, they could have got game one, JR. Oh, gosh, JR. Um, JR's done. He's walking. <laughs> he's, he's just done. He he was still thinking that they could get him in game five, man. He was, you know what? He, he's still I, out there. I didn't realize that his wife was pregnant. No, I didn't so, either. So, you know what I'm saying? I I guess that makes a little bit more sense. He got a little baby. Wife yeah. was pregnant. You know, She uh, had the baby as soon as they got swept. Yeah. yeah. So, Couldn't uh, bring that baby into the world dealing with that stress, man. Yeah, I mean, he was probably just tired. You know what I'm saying? Late nights. Uh, yeah. Henny deprivation. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> Yeah, no, I, I don't know. I, I give him a little bit of a pass, but, but when it comes down to it, man, it's the uh, the uh, Golden State was just a better team. They're oh, better, yeah. they're a better coach <laughs> team. Leaves um, a bounce better. They, yeah, they were a better team. They 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 did everything they could do, man. But they, the sweep, man, we had LeBron James. LeBron couldn't get us one game. I mean, he almost he tried to get his game one. Yeah, but he did everything in game one. He did do everything. I mean, fifty one points. That's nothing to sneeze at. But we still took the L. Yeah, and then he took. 
the broom. The LeBron is three and six in the finals. Like, do you know how much it hurt my heart to <laughs> see all the three six mafia jokes? Like <laughs> that. Like it hurt my heart, man. I wouldn't feel bad about it if I'm LeBron. I mean, you kind of do. Like, I mean, you've been only, nine times. The only, only thing that he could feel bad about is the fact that everyone says he picks the teams, he picks the players, that type yeah. of thing. And he got to take flack because that's the team that he picked, if that is true. Uh, but Yeah, I mean, he ran off uh, the they, guy Kyrie Irving. Now yeah. he's, you know what I'm saying, a, a, a budding pop star. But that, that'll never, yeah, no. Yeah. That'll, that'll <laughs> never, um, he'll never get over that. I think that's going to be, ultimately, that's going to be the thing that's going to hurt LeBron's legacy is the fact that he couldn't make it work with Kyrie. And he got, and you know what, I think that uh, also what's coming back to kind of bite him in the butt is the fact that, uh, you know, he, he runs that, well, he runs that uh, oh, yeah. agency. Yeah, clutch. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And then yeah. he keeps getting all his, these guys yeah, overpaid. Man. He, yeah, he got Tristan overpaid. He got JR overpaid. Yeah. He got, yeah, those are the contracts they got. He gets his he guys did. bad contracts. I mean, good for the guys, but... Yeah. Horrible uh, for the team. Yeah, and you then know. he, and then you know, we kind of find ourselves in this boat. Yeah. So, but listen, man, three six is just not. But oh, you know what? Though it was, good, it was, man. it was, it was. Um, what it really came down to, honestly, with bro, was that KD was better than LeBron. Yeah. In the long scheme, of, I mean, I, I mean, as a Bron fan, we just got to kind of give it up, man. KD was unstoppable. It yeah, was. It was just nothing you could do about. No, there's nothing you could do about it. And this is the the first time I've saw in the first in the two years that he's been at Golden State that they needed him. They yeah, needed him they to did. be what he was. I mean, Clay. I'm sorry, not Clay, but uh, Steph played well. He came in and showed sparks. But without KD, man, they weren't winning that. It's just so efficient. It's like yes. yo, and and the thing is, and he's so unselfish that he's like, yo, I want to keep everybody else around me uh, yeah. playing well too. But it's like, yo, man, his shot just falls, bro. They from said anywhere, anytime. They said 89 percent of his shots throughout the, throughout the series were unassisted, which pretty much was give me the ball, move out the way, and I'm and just I'm gonna, gonna do it. I'm the, gonna get the question I have though, and, and, and uh, nephew brought this up last night was why did LeBron guarding fear you know what I'm saying he didn't want, he didn't want to keep taking the task you know what I'm saying like yo I knew it was kind of pathetic but like when Steph would set the screen and then LeBron would just kind of walk on the screen with Steph yeah. I'm like yeah come on man yeah, yeah. like come on bro and then and we always used to pride LeBron because he would get on the best player and yeah. turn that water off yeah. You know, and he didn't do it on this Look, one. Ain't no turning the water off no. on KD, man. That faucet no. is open. But you know what? Uh, I, I'm actually going to give my nephew uh, a little bit of a little bit of basketball game here. Okay. Uh LeBron was not guarding KD to conserve energy. Conserve energy, uh, yeah. That's for, what I told the, for the offensive end. That's what for, exactly so. what I told him. Yeah. So in to reality, that's yeah. what it was. Yeah. He had to play the whole game. But you know, you know, 15, 14, 15, But still, he ain't I, trying to hear that. I mean, at, at the same time though, too, it's like, yo, it, this is the finals. It bro. is. Like this lay it all it. on the line. Listen, you fall out uh, from exhaustion when it's all finished. But yeah. when you're on that court, man, listen, do whatever it takes to win. But see, that's Break the thing. Break his arm. <laughs> yeah, hurt him, man. <laughs> but, and that kind of, to me, makes it, I kind of understand maybe why Kyrie won it out. It was yeah. like just the what LeBron brings, man. I don't think it's anything that he might do himself. It's just that he's just a huge, every night, day in and day out, they were always a topic. All all year, they were always, every game, it went from, you know, half of the people being in the in the um in the stands to being sold out on the biggest stage every single night and it's always that drama you got to feel your egos yeah. you got lebron i mean not brown um jr's henny consumption there's a lot <laughs> of factors that come with that whether if kevin love's gonna get hurt is he gonna get concussed we don't know is he does he have a model y'all gonna that stop uh, <laughs> y'all gonna stop uh, ragging on my man kevin love all right listen, i hope kevin he, love I hope he makes it there man i don't want Bron leaving we'll talk about that in a second but Man, listen. Know. No, I'm. I'm gonna tell you what it was, man. I used, when uh, road tripping was still good when it was still Richard and Channing. Uh -huh. uh, they used to always talk about how the Cavs were a circus, and I uh -huh. think that that's what Kyrie got tired of yeah, was yeah. being a part of the circus. Absolutely. And the fact that uh, you know those players, they they kind of got to treat Braun a certain kind of way. Like yeah, you absolutely. can tell Braun is one of those guys who. You kind of have to talk yeah. about oh, him a yeah. certain kind of way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you got to kind of kiss the rings a yeah, little yeah, bit yeah. for they him definitely to massage his ego. Yeah, they they, they definitely do that a lot. And uh, when that reporter asked uh, Kyrie about LeBron being a father figure, I knew Kyrie. Oh was yeah, out he was of right. oh, yeah. yeah, he was like that annoyed him so much. He was like, like I got what? A dad. Like, like, <laughs> like that's a lot. Like, like, he's, he's here. <laughs> he's right there. <laughs> Yeah, that, that got that got even bothered there. A man. grown man. What yeah. do you mean? Is LeBron like a father figure to me? Yeah, right. He's seven years older than me. I'll, I'll punch him in the eye, okay? We fought. Right. You know? I, I think also, too, though, is that Kyrie, 
as we're seeing more about him, and as you said, he, he's out here singing nowadays. Um, hey, listen, he's he got a jam. He's got a hit. <laughs> you keep saying he's got a hit. It's a jam. <laughs> it's like, bro, that song is a jam, man. I was, I was hey, yeah. It's about no, to get ridiculous. I would tell you what it was. It's also the circus that goes along with it. But they climbed to the mountaintop. They got to Mount Everest. They yeah. got to the top. And then it was like, now what? Yeah. And I think that's yeah. what, ultimately, I think that's the same thing that's going to happen with KD. And now the question I asked, though, we put in the notes here, is KD the best player on the planet right now? Um. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, you yeah. I gotta get so. to him. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, and I was always the one. Of, I called him the beta. I would always be hard on Kev, on uh, Kevin Durant, but I, I gotta give it up, bro. I had to eat crow. He's yeah. he's a killer. He he literally was like I didn't. He I saw signs of Kevin Durant that I didn't think he had. Anything. He could just do whatever he wants on the court. Yeah, but yeah. even bigger than that, like he's trying to take your heart. Yeah, you know, like, he he hit that, the three. Even the to the point where it's like it, sometimes I wonder, like, is the game so easy to him that he kind of like puts himself in a mindset of, oh, you know what? Let me not be selfish mm-hmm. because it's like I know I can score anytime I feel like it. So let me make sure that my teammates are feeling nah, good right now. I don't like, think so. That's that's the most because LeBron doesn't do that. Okay, like LeBron, we saw in these finals. He wasn't trusting no teammates. I mean, you couldn't trust him. I mean, you got Jordan Clarkson out there. He was a trash right, can. Right. Uh, you know, he just had to take over these games. KD would take over and still keep the ball moving. Man, KD. Well, he kind of like did, but at certain points. He had 43 were, and 9 assists. It's he, like, but remember at one point, though, he um, K, uh, Steve Kerr was out, and they showed a clip where he hugged him and was like, yo, just trust your teammates. Because yeah. he's under jacking. You know yeah. what I mean? So at certain points, he was like just basically trusting the process with his teammates. So... Like yeah. that's what I'm saying. I wonder does like he have to turn a switch on in his head to be like, you know what? Nah, no, nah, don't let me take so many shots. Like I'm gonna nah, let think, everybody else eat too. I think Kevin Durant just hoops, man. I, like, I mean, I knew it was game. I knew it was all bad when he showed up in sweats. Like everyone <laughs> showed up in their suits and their handbags, and LeBron had his purse and all this stuff. Oh he, man, yeah. <laughs> Look, I thought that was a nice. That was bad. Listen, <laughs> when LeBron got up from that press conference and pulled the and put pulled it under his, his arm, like, well, no, pulled pulled his uh, pants suit shorts down a little bit and grabbed his purse. I was like, we're done. You're, we're done. Oh, we're, we, oh. we both talked about like they're done. They're they're getting swept. They're out of here. <laughs> and KD showed up with a, with a sharp lineup. They yeah. were done, man. Yeah, it was, it was, KD showed up in a man. hoodie, bro. Yeah, that's it. Like I ain't here for all this, man. I'm here to hoop. Yeah, you uh. know, throw the ball up, man. Let's go. Tough man, cold world out here. It is, cold man. So, world yeah, KD might be the best player on the planet right now. I don't know. Yeah. All right, man. So Steph, Clay, and Draymond win their third ring. Uh, how many more is going to stack up? The thing, I, the question that we already know um, that's going to be answered with that though is contract wise, how is this going to work? Because mm-hmm. next year they're still there, but Draymond already said he's not taking a pay cut. Yeah, he wants the max. And he's going to get paid. Owner already told KD he could have whatever contract he wants. Yeah, as he so, should. Yes, as he uh, should. Whatever you want. That was kind of weird in the press conference, though. They, like, I don't they, know. They, 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 they kind of shaded KD yeah, they, a little they, bit. They talk man. a little <laughs> spicy about KD. I'm like, do you really want to do this guy like that? <laughs> right. Like, he literally just gave y'all the second chip. Right. You know, I mean, a third I, chip. Well, I'm saying, because, I mean, y'all, y'all won the first one. Then you took a loss. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And then you bring in KD, and KD made it super easy. Absolutely. So yeah, I think it's kind of whack. That story came about, though, where they were calling KD. At, um, after right after the it. loss, yeah, yeah, yeah. So now it's like, but I, I commend it only that, only because you know you're trying to get better, you're trying to get better, you, you, yeah. you retooled. You, you know, KD was weak enough to take the bait, but after, even after all that, you know, the best I, you know, I'm tired of this yeah. narrative. Like, listen, yeah, as, as it a free, thing too. As a, as a free, I just wish that people would kind of really put this into perspective. As a but, free agent, if you know you're leaving the team that you're with. Do you sign with a mediocre team on pride, or do you go to the team that gives you the best opportunity to win? No. I mean, that no. like there were only a couple of teams in the running that had enough money to be able to pay KD. No, no. The kind of everything you to. say is absolutely right, and it's the same stance I'll always take. You're absolutely right. It made be- perfect basketball sense. Yeah. What it doesn't make is guy code sense when you come from a team that's that you were up 3-1, and they beat you, and you join forces with that team. It's a bad look. Hey, man, yeah. they, they could afford to pay you, and you didn't want to play with Russ. It affects Katie. Even though if you were Oklahoma City, you might have needed to sit down with Katie, but like, hey, listen, what do we need to do to keep you? Yeah. I mean, you know. If you we, can't we, change Russ's well, game. Listen, we've got a piece here that we can return a superstar <laughs> for. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Who would you like to play with if yeah. this isn't the guy? Ultimately, uh, Russ being an okay. Russ's biggest thing is himself. Yeah. You know, Paul George left and, you know, and uh, he's he's going to sign somewhere else. And that, it's because of Russ. I mean, he. That's just what it is, man. Yeah. But back to the Cavs, though. Before, but besides that, one more thing to put a button on that whole subject. Yeah. Uh, Lathanos comes back and shows that he was uh, had a broken hand. Yeah. I thought that was so whack. Uh, I thought it was so whack that he showed up at the press conference with the little wrapping on there. I, if you had a broken hand, it's been there the whole time. 
Don't even talk about it. Just let it come out in the story later on in the summer or something. But yeah. don't show up at the press conference. Because in my thing, it kind of showed like, well, this is why we lost. You know what yeah. I mean? If I didn't have this, we probably would have done better. Stack Stack said the the realest thing about this, like, yo, don't come to this conference talk about, oh, I had a broke hand when you throwing uh, yeah. hoops to yourself yeah. off the backboard, yeah. dunking it. But, it. but it does make sense why he's missing a lot of layups and stuff, though. Does it? Yeah, I mean, I can only think that. I mean, LeBron has made that stuff throughout the playoffs, and he, yeah. you know, mm. I just thought it was I thought it was corny, man. I really did. I, I really thought it was corny. I, I thought that he should have just not said anything about it. Let it come out later in the year. I, I thought it was corny that you know what I'm saying you don't know how to keep your composure enough to you know what I'm saying not self inflict injuries. Yeah, and we talked about the it. Finals, yeah, we like, talked about it on the last pod that we did where he showed up. Um, uh, Jr. Man, that was yeah, just, like, that was corny. And man. I mean, that like when he did that, the whole team quit through yeah, that overtime. Done. And the thing was, it's like, yo, the game's not over. No, get out there and play. Y'all still got an opportunity to win. What right. are you doing? You and, like you conceded right. right, right then and there. Right. And I think that's the biggest thing when we talk about the whole Jordan and LeBron debate is that Mike would have held his players accountable. Right. To get out there but and he would have had them ready on the yes, floor. He like, had them right, ready. Listen, still that still a chance in to win. Exactly. Like, you know what I'm saying? We got to get out here. Yeah. And if you don't, pretty much. And if you don't, I'm a dot eye. Yeah. That's pretty much what Mike was saying. Like now we got to. Notice over time. Listen, it's gonna be bad for you if we lose it in this overtime. I'm gonna tell you that. Right. right. Exactly. But you know what? That's one thing people give just to venture off a little bit about Tim Tebow. Tim Tebow, they, no one liked him as far as you know who he was, but he would always say the right thing to his players. Yeah, he was and a great guys. leader. He was a great leader, and that's the thing I don't think LeBron is. Yeah, I think he's a great teammate. I do not think he's a great leader. I, I can agree with you on yeah, that, man. And I think that's going to be his biggest knock. And. uh I think that yeah, so I think that's going to be his knock. Nah, you want to argue? Man. Get in the comments. I was going to say, I don't know, man. The the real Lambo got some other knocks. <laughs> oh god, oh, yeah. I'm not bringing that up in here. <laughs> but, yo, Lambo got some other knocks. Those might be his biggest <laughs> knocks. Yo, the biggest detriment to LeBron's career is going to be his mama. I told you that <laughs> she's going to be the biggest block in his career. Man, how your stepdaddy named the real Lambo? <laughs> how, how did your mom mess a dude named the real the Lambo? Lambo. Lambo. You worth a billion dollars. <laughs> And your mom is dating a man named the real, the real Lambo. Lambo. Listen, I, if I was LeBron, I might have had to just put the hit out on him. Yeah, absolutely, I would try to like, listen, out Mama. On I want you to be happy. Yes, I need you to get with a, a Stephen. Yeah, a, a Gerald. Yes, yes, something uh, like not somebody, a Lambo. Somebody that brushes his hair to the side. Right. Okay. <laughs> not, not an the Italian real, luxury it ain't car. Even, it ain't even the real Lambo. It's duh. The real, the real Lambo. Lambo. <laughs> like his mom is gonna be the death of him, man. I'm telling you, bro. <laughs> Oh. First it was Delonte West, that was the real Lambo. Like, Delonte was not, uh, that was not confirmed. That was whatever. definitely true. But, that but, was true. But the real We ain't Lambo. heard from Delonte West since. We heard him since he was doing circles on 270 with, with the uh, guitar with, with, with the, the guitar with the shot in it, bro. Yeah. LeBron got him out of here. Desperado West, man. Yeah, man. Shout out to him. The real Lambo. The real Lambo, bro. bro. That's, that's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. All right, man. So now that the season is over, though, man, we got some free agency to go. Where yeah. is LeBron going? Um... Probably to the Lakers, but hear me out on this. Go ahead. If LeBron wants to preserve his legacy, he needs to stay in Cleveland. We both said it. Yeah. But like, it's not going to happen. It's, it's not, but, like, listen, going to a third team at this point in your career to ring chase, though I get it, Jordan would have never done that. Okay? No, he wouldn't have never done Magic, that. Magic would have never done that. I okay? think that I think that, that whole narrative of him being a GOAT is, is kind of mailed it in. LeBron's gonna be the no, best. No, 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 no. Because LeBron still has an opportunity. Like, listen, I don't. But care, if he leaves, I don't care it. if he never wins another ring. Uh -huh. LeBron still has an argument to be the greatest of all times. I don't think that rings are everything. No, I don't. Now, but but what MJ was able to do on that floor, the way that he was able to dominate the game at, from all angles, is Mid what sets him apart from LeBron. And LeBron's got to learn that part of it, especially in his later in 15, stage of his game. In fifteen years, do we really think he's gonna learn it, Kev? Yes. No. And I'm going to tell you why. It's the whole aura of the way this – and I hate to say it, but he's not – he's from my cloth. He's from your cloth. He's yeah. older than what we think. But it's the mentality of the way that people are these days. This whole way of buddy-buddy ball and teaming up and stuff like that. What he Michael, did came back to bite him. It definitely came back to bite him. But Michael Jordan, mentally, he had the game – he would come out, he wanted to kill you. Yeah. He wanted to it's kill you. It's still players like that, though, man. Russ got that mentality. Yes, Every Russ time I see him it. on the floor, it looked like Russ – for as much bone has stuff still as he has does, it. CP3 still has that yes. same attitude. Yes. If you ask me, the beard has that attitude. Yes, the he beard does. Left OKC because he <clears> said, <throat> you know what? You guys won't pay me what I'm worth. I'll go and build my own team and show you. Yes. And that's exactly yeah. what he's done. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah, saying? MVP beard. But I think that the mental part in LeBron's game is all above the shoulders with him. He has all the physical abilities. He has all yeah. the basketball abilities. It's from the shoulders up. It's his problem. Yeah. And the fact that we can point pinpoint times in his career that he's quit. 
Yeah. It look I mean, at least it looks like he's quit. And even so, even you're putting that perception, and you know we the both, Dallas series. Everybody. Yes, and yeah, we both play sports, man. There's nothing worse in the world than being called a quitter. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. You go out with guns blazing. Even in the finals, the the, the fourth, um, the, the the sweep game. Right. Listen, they got gonna, blown out. If he's gonna sit in the fourth quarter. If you're gonna quit, man, you know what you got to do? You got to throw them hands. Absolutely. Take you somebody throw them out. Hands. You know Put what I'm Perkins saying? in. Have him hold them up on your shoulders, and then just no, close bro, listen, somebody. Game man. three when when KD is making all them shots, like yo, listen, yeah, LeBron, you just got to blow a kiss in the air. And sock him in the jaw. Just break his jaw, all right? Yeah, you're going to get suspended and all of that. But if you want to quit, that's the way to quit. Yes, man. <laughs> Mike was a goon, man. Yes. You know what I mean? Like, Mike was a Q. A lot of things people forget. Like, Mike was a real dog, Like, remember man. when Mike attacked Reggie Miller? Yes, he like, grabbed yo, him by the throat. Yeah. Almost tried to kill him, man. <laughs> trying to dig his thumbs into his trachea, man. He tried like, to kill him, man. Like, there was so much anger <laughs> when, when Mike lunged at him. Yeah. like, yo. Yo, even even um, people give crap crap to uh, Pippen. Remember when Pippen went in those Knicks series? Yeah. Man, he dunked on Patrick Ewing and put his, put his you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, come on, man. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? He gave, he gave him the little, uh, the, 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 the rub and shine. Yeah, yeah. man. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> the, the rub and shine. Yeah, it's like that's a car. Name, it's that's like a, a car that's wash. The, that's the name of this podcast. The, the, the rub, rub and shine. shine. <laughs> that's pretty damn good, right there, man. You know, that's pretty saying? good, right? You be high five. That's pretty damn good. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, that's, that's what, funny. Yeah, yeah. You know what the I'm saying? The rub and shine. That's funny. But um, I don't know where LeBron goes, bro. I, all this stuff with LA. They said um, Gary Payton Jr. was saying he's already committed to um. Uh, his son's committed to the, the, the high school in L.A. Yeah. So uh, all the speculation is going to the Lakers. I, I'm with you. I think he has to, to pre- preserve his legacy. I want him to stay in Cleveland. Get everybody to come there. Yeah, that's what you I'm know? saying. Like, be the anchor for yes. the Cavaliers, yes. bro. But, you know, if he leaves, I'm not mad at him. Mm-hmm. But I do think for legacy purposes, Cleveland is where you need to go ahead and finish this out, man. You already did the Miami thing. Like, you, you kind of played that card already. Yeah. So now it's a, it's a little played. And now if you go to – I mean, listen – uh, are, are, are you going to go to the Lakers, man, and, and, you know what I'm saying, have to be LeVar's son? Right, hmm? right. Because, you know, I mean, that's LeVar's team, but, okay? Yeah, it is. But I'm going to tell you right now, if he goes to the Lakers, LeVar, uh, his son's gone. No. Lonzo's getting traded. Uh, LeVar's not going to allow it. <laughs> yeah, he is. <laughs> LeVar will fire Magic <laughs> <laughs> before... He allows Lonzo to low key. Lavar probably ruined LeBron's chances. Uh, y'all Laker fans from, from going there. Well, he said, "I guarantee he's coming here." Yo, listen. No, I'm gonna tell you what. I'm gonna tell you what. I heard uh, Zoe drop that Kylie Kuzma. Oh my god. Let's like, talk about Zoe's that. Zoe's pretty good. He, he is pretty good. Pretty good. I'm gonna tell you though. Him and Kyle Kuzma, this is weird. This is totally oh, weird. It's hilarious. It's, it is hilarious. It's hilarious. Because <laughs> when, when Kuzma said back to him that um, his pullout game is as weak as a jumper, I, I was crying on that part. But then Lonzo comes back talking about your dad has been missing. Like, yo, that's, yo they got to fight over that, bro. And they, they didn't show that Kuzma supposedly didn't take that very well. Okay. And they called oh, it control wow. wars, and they were going back and forth. But the oh, Lakers had to, had to come in and tell them to tell chill Lonzo, out. like, chill out, man. Listen, these, these, these little kids. They're kids, man. Yeah, I you mean, they're, they're like 20 years old. <laughs> yeah, they're 20. They got nothing better to do but who? Man, he, did he push a team? Yeah, he, he did. did. He, he did. Pushed he pushed a team. team. Yes, he did. Yeah. Oh, man. To the point where the Lakers had to come in and say, yo, y'all need to chill out. Yeah, okay. It's, it's going too far. Listen, Kylie Kuzma was hilarious. Oh, yeah. Kylie Kuzma That was a good little diss track. Yeah. Yeah, and then Lakers, man, go ahead and sign LiAngelo. Even though it's looking like Golden State might sign Leangelo. That Where would be that crazy. Is? Like, listen. If, if, I hope Leangelo gets a deal. If Leangelo goes to Golden State and wins the <laughs> ring next year, it's going to be like, Triple B's can't and, be stopped. And, 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 yo, and the younger one, he grew like three inches. Like, you just see him the other day. Like, yeah, he's like, dunking now. He's like, he cut the hair off. He's got a proper Caesar. Like, it yeah. might, LeVar might be the GOAT, man. I'll be honest with you. He might have oh, put everything back into this. Like, I love LeVar. <laughs> me too. Like, but he, he might have put... He prophesized all this, bro. I might, I might buy me a big baller brand shirt for my birthday. <laughs> hey, man, yeah, they, they bring yeah. those prices down. I ain't paying fifty bucks. Nah, no, them shirts only like twenty five, thirty. Oh, I'll support that. Yeah, I, I, I'll I definitely support that. that. Yeah, BBB. All right, man. So, where do the Cavs go from here, though? Uh, listen, if LeBron leaves, fire sale time because we got <laughs> <laughs> we got a lot of bad contracts. Yeah, we need to get do. off the books. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you, there's a couple cats on the on the team that might be out the league. Yeah, just blow it up. Yeah, man. Jordan Clarkson's gone. It. DMX's wife is gone. Mm-hmm. Um. Although uh, DMX's wife might stay, Ronnie Hood might stay. He hey, played well. If LeBron leaves. If LeBron leaves. Bye. Yeah, if LeBron leaves. Just, all, kept, just hit the reset listen, button at if, that point. If Kevin Le- Love. Bye. Yeah, if LeBron leaves, look for um, like comedy show tickets in Cleveland because they're gonna be half off. Oh yeah. You know everything. Hotel rooms. I'm never never forget when he left the first time. Man, me and the wife went up there, stayed in a five star hotel for sixty bucks a night. Hey man. Yeah. So they got to give it away. But I don't think LeBron's gonna leave. I don't know. But to answer that question, we have though. 
if LeBron leaves, like you said, it's a fire sale, bro. Yeah. Nothing, nothing. I mean, nothing you got to. Sense. It's just too many bad contracts. Absolutely. You got to get Jay off the books. Kevin Love, you might as well just go ahead and let him uh, find greener pastures. You got to get TT off the books some Can't. way, somehow, man. No, listen, you got to shake that. They are expiring. You can get rid of him. Yeah, listen, TT got to go. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, you, you'd be out here like the doubt. No, no, hold on. Before we get, before we get all to that, man, TT actually played decent. In the playoffs, in the uh, fun, he did all right. When he, he, got he did his okay. Yeah, when he got his minutes, he if LeBron's gone, we've got no use. Oh no, no, for no, no. By Bye. all means, if he's gone, the Kardashian ship is sailed. Yeah, that, that thing that's is out, out of here. here. Bye. Yeah, that's that's out of yeah, here. Yeah, you're going to the Clippers. Jordan buddy. Clarkson might be out the league. Mm, yeah, um, he's trash. He's trash. He's man. gonna go to the Magic. And I remember people used to argue with me that he is the uh, he was the best Laker on that team. He's buns. Uh, he showed glimpses of brilliance, but he just got a, he just he, jacks. He got a great contract uh, for underproducing. That's why the Lakers yeah. were so desperate to get him off the books. Yeah, and you know, hey man, eh, everything must go at that yeah. point. Yeah, it's a fire sale. Yeah. There's a lot of free agents out here, bro. So you know, maybe they're able to pick up one. It, it reminds me of Dallas. Like you, Dallas is so desperate to get rid of Chandler Parsons and that bad contract. Oh, yeah. They are willing to yeah. give. But it's like the like the fourth pick in the draft. They're like, listen, yeah. you can have the pick if you will just take him. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> just take him off our books. He's making a ton and you of can money. Have the pick. Him and Eddie Curry making a ton of money. Bro, how do you get to the point where it's like, yo, you give away a great draft pick just to get somebody off the books? It's like don't we don't we we need him gone that bad. And it's crazy too because he played well. He was yeah, not he was since like, he's been in Dallas. When he was in Memphis, he was all right. Chandler Par- uh, uh t- who's it? Who are we talking about here? Uh, Chandler Parsons. Chandler Parsons. Oh, Chandler Parsons. You know what? Yeah. I'm thinking of um, what's my man? The tall dude, light skinned cat, came in with Chicago. Uh, I'm not sure. He was a rookie. Came in straight out of high school. I can't. He was remember. on Dallas's team. Are you Light-skin- talking about uh, Tyson Chandler? Tyson Chandler. Okay. That's okay. Okay, I'm yeah. sorry. Ch- yeah, Tyson Chandler has been robbing the league. He's been a good looking person, and they paid him a ton he of money. He won a chip though. He won a chip. Yeah. Yeah. So Did he win it with Dallas? Yeah. He Did he? His money. Yeah. Okay. I think he's in Phoenix now or somewhere like that. Something I don't know. Like that. I don't, he's, I'm he not sure where he's at. Money, he didn't make it. Might be in like Phoenix or Denver or somewhere like he's, that. I don't yeah, remember. Maybe Sacramento. Yeah. Where they sent Shump. We ain't seen Shump since. Since he uh, started rapping. Poor Shump. Yeah, they sent poor Shump to Siberia. Man, they, they sent him to the studio. Yeah, they did. Yeah, like, they did. He's a rapper now. All right, man. Let's get to these free agents. So Chris Paul requests the max from Houston. Organization says they plan to keep CP3 and Capella. Yeah. I don't know how they're going to make this work. I mean, actually pretty easy at this point because, I mean, LeBron ain't coming. so uh, Yeah, they can't. They can't yeah, make it CP3 happen. might have to take a couple million less than the max, but they'll get him pretty close or they'll, they'll you know what I'm saying, do some funny things with the numbers, backload that contract. You got to keep CP3. Have him. Oh, yeah, he's, yeah. he's the pit bull of that team. First of all, CP3, I don't think that he wants to leave anyway. No. So it's like, yo, listen, they'll they'll come to an agreement yeah. as far as how they'll uh, they'll set up his contract. Plus, they there. got that what if factor in that organization. If, if, I mean, they, they came closest to being Golden State. That's what State, I'm saying. So, if he would have played, yeah. if he would have played, in that, those last two games, they might have won. Yeah. You know? That, but why wouldn't LeBron... I, I mean, I know that they don't really have the money to pay him, but like, if I'm LeBron, I take vet minimum to go play with Houston at this point if well, I just got to leave. But that's... Because you're making a ton of... You got a billion dollar Nike contract. You need more yeah, money? That's, but that's what I'm saying. Though. I don't. That's what, another reason why I don't think that LeBron's going to leave. Because at this point... He's going to get criticized for ring chasing. Even though you are okay with it, I'm okay with it. People are going to criticize the crap out of him for ring chasing. I feel like uh, being 3-6 Mafia now, that, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? People are, will understand the ring chase. Just break point. the league, Brian, and go to Golden State. Mm. Just break the league. Yeah. Break it even further. But you broke I, it already. Even, break it again. I don't again. even know if I watch basketball at no, that point. Not. That's like the Harlem Globetrotters out not. here yeah, versus would, the, no. the 28-9 Washington Generals. No. Yeah, I mean, good. even if even if the I mean the rumors are going around that they were going to get um, Anthony Davis. If they get Anthony Davis, we might as well stop watching. Yeah, you know what that's, I mean? that's like, just too much. It is too much. Yeah, like you're just piling on now. Absolutely, like, All Star West. Yeah, like, it's stop. not fair. Yeah. The East will be just don't even play it, man. Your whole starting five at that point would be going to the All Star game. Like, Absolutely, that's man. cheating. So the biggest story that came out yesterday actually dropped yesterday. Kawhi wants out. Yeah, man, that's weird. Kawhi I don't know why want, Kawhi wants out, and they're talking about he want to go to L.A. or go to the Knicks. I'm not surprised that he wants – I'm surprised that he said it this year. Being that this is the same thing we saw with Kyrie last year. We were talking about him, too, getting to that. Yeah. But it's changed to where players have a lot of leverage the last year of their contract. Yeah, So absolutely. it's like trade me now or don't get anything for me. Right, and I'm going to tell you where I want to go, and I'll tell these other teams I won't resign. So. Right. So yeah. if he wants to go to L.A., that's – I mean – I'm kind of forcing my way to L.A. So hold on. Him – even Pop Bro, won't do it. I don't no. think Pop will do it. He 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 would Pop. rather let him just uh, play out his contract, ride pine all next year, and then you can go sign wherever you want. But Pop ain't signing you to or sending you to nobody in the same conference. It was a super Pop weird rule. situation, man. It was. It was super weird. It went from I never excuse me I never forget it was um he was walking into the thing they showed him as an interview I saw he's walking into the organization. 
for practice. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, it was a reporter was talking to him. And he said something, and the reporter said something to him, and he said, well, you know, the Spurs are going to do what's best for the Spurs. And then one of the uh, officials for the Spurs saw him talking to the reporter, shooed the guy away. We didn't see um, um, uh, Kawhi after that point at all. We didn't see him on the bench. We didn't see him traveling with the team. But he was weird. practicing yeah. away from the team by himself. It was just a weird situation. It was man. a weird situation. And then it was, you know, Pop's, you know, R.I.P. Pop's wife passed away, and that kind of yeah. took over everything. But the whole Kawhi situation was just super weird. He's one of the five best players in the league when healthy. Yeah. You I, know? I don't understand. The, the the Spurs don't really strike me as an organization to run players off. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, why That's what made it so weird. play with the Spurs? Yeah. Because it was like, you know, when Aldridge at one point wanted out, but last year he flourished because pop yeah. you know it was like the, i guess the second year they played they richard it. jefferson said that it's like as a star you come in in the, the second year but here's the question i have for you about Kawhi leonard mm-hmm. it's a funny stat and i, I saw it and a little, did a little bit of fact checking and i wanted to make sure this was true do you know that anthony davis has played more games than Kawhi leonard and he came in a year after Kawhi? huh that's a, well you know what i guess that that makes sense because Kawhi first he was stuck in Indiana for a little bit and then came over to the Spurs and when he came to the Spurs I don't know that he started immediately okay yeah so I mean yeah. I, I, I was just a funny stat to me though he came in a year after when we always get on AD because he's always ouchy so yeah. Kawhi hasn't been a star as long as AD has been but when Ka- I mean I, we saw it in the finals man we saw it heck even the last game where, where that goon Pachulia um, stepped under his foot. Kawhi had 26 points in 23 minutes. Yeah, he was going off. He was going off, and he was locking up, and they were up 20. Hey. You know, so it brings the question of whether or not you know Kawhi can do this same productivity on another team. <laughs> you know what I really thought about more than anything with Kawhi? Like, how did he go in there and request a trade? Because I can see Kawhi going there like, hey, hey, uh, uh, Coach Pop. <laughs> he didn't talk. Uh, he didn't I, talk. I think I, I want to nope. get traded. Nope. We, I, I, no, I don't I've, think I've, I've heard Kawhi talk. I have. I mean, I've he, never heard he talk. talks. He talks. <laughs> I but, freaked out when I seen him smile one time. <laughs> <laughs> but like he just, uh, you know, I want to. Uh, I want to get traded. He do He, he like, said the text. You don't want to play here anymore. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He don't show the emotion. Just man. Stone face. Talk. <laughs> no, I'm I, out. I'd like to go. I'm out. Is there anything that we can do to persuade you? No. No, I, I think I want to go play for the Lakers. <laughs> 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 like, why okay. the Lakers though? Uh, he, I think he's from L.A. Is he? Okay. Yeah, well, so. That makes sense. You want, you're going home. That I makes guess. sense. But if they, get, if they get Kawhi, if the Lakers get Kawhi, listen, that's a landing like, spot. Yeah, but listen, uh, Kawhi, LeBron, and Paul George, if they all go to the Lakers, my first question is for what? You all three play the exact same position. They'll what, make it work. What's, what's happening They'll here? They'll make it work. Uh, what, LeBron moves up to the four, Kawhi no. plays the three, PG goes to the two? Any coach in their right mind, they don't put LeBron to point would be silly. Cause you don't even need a point guard. Yeah, LeBron's you got Lonzo. Have, you got no Lonzo's gone. No, if they listen, but Lonzo. Stay, listen, no, he's Lonzo's not. Lonzo's the future. No, okay, like, <laughs> Lonzo's not going anywhere. Trust and believe. Le- LeVar if, has made this clear. If, <laughs> if they do split. a sign and trade, Luke which Walton might, is fired. Which might, <laughs> he tries, he tries to do anything which might, Lonzo. which might be the best thing for Lonzo. That means he'll go to the Spurs. That no. might be that might be a blessing in disguise. It could be, but no. Like, yes, he's gonna yeah, be in LA. He's gone. Like, I'm telling you no, right like, now. Listen, Lavar Lavar will Lonzo to the Lakers. <laughs> he got drafted to the Lakers. He's a Laker Yo, for life. Mark my words. If Kawhi is going to the Lakers, Lonzo is gone. He's gone. You know, I can. I, only way I see that happening is if uh, Leangelo gets drafted to Golden State. <laughs> And then they Lonzo gets uh, moved to Golden State. And then, you know, LeVar becomes an assistant coach for the Golden State Warriors. <laughs> and then they just sign yeah. Jello. They sign Jello to come on behind Steph to be uh, mentored by Steph to learn the shot. We're moving the heck on for this. Yeah. All right, man. See that happen. Rumors, came out. <laughs> Rumors came out that the Celtics uh, fear Kyrie Irving will leave Boston after next season for the Knicks. The Knicks? Yeah, I don't like, think Why that. would Kyrie want to go to the Knicks? First of all, why would you want to leave the Celtics? Y'all are clearly the front runner to right. win for years to come in the East. I, I, why um, would Kyrie want to leave? I think Kyrie's going to retire. You think so? Yeah. I mean, you know, hey, man, he does have a, a flourishing career in music and movies. Like, he's now a triple threat. <laughs> he's, a, he's officially a triple threat. No, I think uh, with him... I mean, he's first gonna of win all, a Grammy. Yeah, he's stupid. First uh, of no, all, I'm serious. The, like, um, <laughs> uh, for original motion picture uh, uh, soundtrack or song, he's gonna win it. He's gonna win a Grammy. <laughs> Might win an Oscar. <laughs> I would think with him, the, uh, the the thing with Kyrie though is, um, you may lose my train of thought. 
It, no, he's not leaving. Like oh, he, I got it. The um the thing that happened with him, they asked him the question about re-signing um, extension this summer. Uh-huh. It doesn't make sense to do it. He's gonna miss out like eighty million dollars if he does it the summer of two thousand nineteen. Yeah. So yeah, that's yeah. what it all came about. Coming I mean, came about. But um I think Kyrie I, I wouldn't be surprised if he retired, man. You were I don't think Kyrie I, like Kyrie's so young. Like why would he retire? He's only like twenty seven. He, he talks about himself. Like he doesn't, he wants to be known more than just a basketball yeah, player. Absolutely. He loves to hoop, but he hates the drama that comes with it, which is yeah, why I man, think he left Cleveland. He's a recording star now. He is a recording he's a star. star. He's a movie star now, too. Yeah. People are hyped about this movie, too. Yeah. Listen, he's going to write a best selling book. Uh, <laughs> he'll be a yogi when it's all said and done. Like, he might be president. He wrote a, a, a memoir to Kalani. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> that he did. <laughs> Checking that old thing back. Mm, that didn't really seem like it. besties forever. I was like, yeah, yeah besties. Yeah. My besties, not my exes. Hey, listen, stop man. this mess. <laughs> Kyrie might be out here living a good life. He right? might be. Hey, ooh, man. You know, I, now that I think about it, now he's got this budding recording uh, career oh. going on, man. Maybe he's trying to go to the Drake lane. I mean, Drizzy's pretty much out the door now. <laughs> yeah, he's yeah. old news. <laughs> Kyrie might be stepping in to take that. Uh, I'm well, just saying you could do better. Well, I heard the auto tune, bro. I was like, what is this? But it was it had a catchy tune. Yeah, it was yeah, I was like, oh, okay. Like, I'll, I'll see you. You, would, you wouldn't yeah. like it. That's the thing when you said it. I'm yeah. thinking like, he better got spend a little no more. Yeah, it does. Yeah. It does. That's what's funny about it, man. But uh, I don't think he's going to leave the uh, Celtics. I think he it was a great situation. It is plus, it's situation. like it's this is the first year he was hurt all year. Y'all got a stacked team. Like, yeah. I mean, no, nah, he played most of the season. I mean, he went down, what, uh, three weeks before the playoffs? Yeah, that's true. So, you're yeah, right. he, he was, he'd be all right. Because he played All-Star. Yeah, he played All-Star. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Oh, he made yeah, I mean, he was hooping hard all year. Yeah. Celtics were, you know, number one in the league. Or Do they need him, though? Number one in the East. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, after the way uh, Rozier uh, crafted that in Eastern Conference yes, Finals, yeah, yes, you need yes. Kyrie. I forgot about Rozier. Yeah. <laughs> Keith Murray gave up, man. Yeah, I mean, yeah. he didn't give up. He, he got he got, got. Yeah, he just, he just remembered he was, he was Keith Murray. Yeah, That's all you know came what I'm saying? To it. So, hey. All right, man. So let's get into it, man. Drake uh, waves the white flag. Beef is over with Pusha T. Mm. What in the world was that, man? Hey, man. Uh, Push. It was surgical. Surgical summer, man. Yeah, it definitely was like, surgical. Push, Push is a bully. Okay, like he can't. <laughs> he just came out like. I mean, how do you just just do a man like this? You know what I'm saying? It was like it was bad. He came with his little jokes. Yeah, yeah. you 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 uh, young older than the guy that you run behind. Blah blah blah. blah. You have a child that you're not taking yes. care of. Yes. Oh, okay. he hid that. He hid that child like Nas hid that album yesterday for mm, as long as he could. Mm, um, yeah. yeah, it was yeah. all bad. We knew that, but the whole part that was weird to me though was when Jay Prince was doing his his book run. And he's, that and he's, was great for Jay Prince's uh, Brooke promo. Yeah, absolutely. But yeah. he said that you know, a uh, favor to me. I'm Drake's not going to say anything. Basically, the money was getting messed up. Yeah. So that's that's all that came down. But to. I, I believe this was lies. That was just yeah, the absolutely. Face. How does it say like, oh yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm not going to let my homie go fight you because he would really beat you up. Right. Mm. This, this this was too good. Yeah, this was too good. It Kanye's was too career good. I'm, I'm actually doing you a favor because yeah. Drake was going to end you. Right. Kanye, I called off the dogs. Kanye called me and he asked me to end it. Yeah. You know, I bet they did. Right. Yeah. He robbed him. Was, uh, robbed us of a great uh, battle. Yeah, but um, I, no, no, no. He just saved Drake. Because yeah, he it was did. Like, Yo, yeah. listen. He probably heard that diss song. And was like, listen, <laughs> this ain't gonna cut it, man. So you know, just don't even do it to yourself. And we're gonna get you on. We're gonna get you out of here. <laughs> Will Drake have bars for for uh, for Pusher on the album? No. I think, think so? that I think that he does better to just go ahead and leave it alone, put this behind him. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. he did, he did that. He he bowed out of the beef. He put out this this the uh, video for "I'm Upset," which I think is a dud. Um, the video is kind of funny. The video is funny because it went back to Degrassi days, and that, yeah. was, that was pretty cool. But he, he did the right thing. He just didn't say anything. Uh, he just didn't have nothing to say. Yeah, he had nothing to say. You know what right. what I'm at yeah. some point, you but at some point, he's going to have to address it. Yeah, at no, some point. No, uh, uh-uh. uh, no, uh, uh-uh. I leave that all alone. All right, man. Yeah. All right, man. So Lil Wayne's lawsuit against Cash Money collects all money yes. owed uh, to him from Universal. Yes. Are we f- Wayne is free, bro. Free Wheezy. Does uh, it matter? I don't know. After I saw that Summer Jam <laughs> set, it was like, ooh. They I want don't... him off that stage. Listen, uh, Wayne, just he just, he didn't really seem like he knew what to do with himself, man. Nah. You know, he, hey, he rich again. He was like, uh, do I really need to be here? Right. I, don't, I don't really need this. I don't need this. Well, the thing that hurts me, though, is that you know, Lil Wayne, was he birthed a lot of these rappers. He did. Are people going to be here to listen to his music? Some of these kids don't even know who the heck he is, man. I think I think Wayne has kind of done what he was going to do in music, and I like it's it's messed up that it it kind of went the way that it, it like it ended with a fizzle instead of a pop. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, I don't, I don't I don't know that Wayne is passionate about you know being a rapper anymore. Yeah, like he was doing what he needed to do before, but I mean, uh, from what I'm hearing or what I've seen out there, like. That that sum total that he ended up getting was something like sixty million. Okay. 
Dwayne really need to rap. He just got a big old fat check yeah, for sixty yeah. million. Yeah, he got and Drake and uh, yeah, he's Nikki still continue under him. to be yeah. making money. Yeah, well, like, we got Drake up under him. I don't know about Nikki. She's done. <laughs> mm, yeah, she's yeah. she's done so, bro. It's tough out Those here. Singles are horrible. Even though she's connecting, no, it's, it's not. not it's not connecting because even the song with Ariana Grande is not horrible. It's just she's not good. On no, it. she's not. She's the weak point on it. Mm-hmm. And I think I, I don't know. I, it's hard to pinpoint it. But I told you, you like, no, nah, I don't think so. But you're starting to see it. I think she might be done, man. Uh, listen, she just got to find somebody to give her a hit. Get like back she, with the uh, the with dude, man. Safari, yeah. yes. Or, or like, you know, what I'm saying, go back to your pop lane. Even though I guess she kind of she tried is. It. She tried it, but I don't know. It's like Bro, that, that's she's still like, sounding rough around the edges, and it's like, yo, she's coming from an yeah, she's coming that. from an arrogant stance, and it's like, you, this isn't good. Yeah, I think uh, Remy Ma might have might have got her out the paint, man. Maybe that that sheather might have got her out the paint. Yikes! But the bigger thing about the um the whole thing with Universal and Lil Wayne though, it actually cut Cash Money off. Yeah, it moves Young Money to uh, UMG, so now they're their own entity. They're not under um, Cash Birdman has nothing to do with them. Hey, I mean, on paper, Bloody Bird might not have nothing to do with them, but right? Yeah, you better believe. You better like, believe. I, yeah. I I think that uh, Wayne and Bird were kind of in cahoots. Birdman was like, "Yo, listen, I could give you this money from my pocket, or." Or, hear me out on this, we could get these other people to give you the money, and I keep my money, you get your money, everybody's happy. But what do you say? But what's the best interest in him still doing business with Birdman, though? I don't know that they do business together, but at least they can be cool now, I guess. I mean, they can be cool, but there's no money that's going to be exchanged. I mean, this is all, like, even Birdman's biggest thing was always, we got Drake and Nicki. He, yeah. he had the hottest act. Now he got, what, Young Thug yeah. and uh, Jacquees or whatever? Hey man, listen. Uh, he built cash money up two, three times over. Man, he could do it again. Yeah, we'll yeah. see. Um, Blake Bird. Listen, yeah. I thought it was amazing that he finessed to not have to actually pay Wayne. That was but still got Wayne paid. Yeah, I mean the person that made out in all this that um, really is came through unscathed was Tony Braxton because she didn't have to go out there and ask for more yeah. money because we know that he was getting with her was complete to get money. For <laughs> and I still think Slim has. You know what? No, I think Tony Braxton. She knows well how to protect her assets. I think that <laughs> that's what she was probably teaching Bird. That might have been it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying how to protect the assets. That might have been it. Yeah, yeah, that might have been it. You're right. All right, man. So Carter Five is on the way. Um, courtesy of UMG, can mm-hmm. Wayne take the game over again? Are we going to listen yeah, to it? He can, he can. Like, listen, not if it's the same album from 2015. Like, that's over with. Like, that ship has sailed. I, I mean, you can maybe put that as a mixtape just if you want people to hear it. But mm-hmm. you're gonna have to re-record this album at this point. Like, you need new material. And I hope you come with bangers. But I definitely think that I think Wayne, I give it a shot. You give I, it a shot? Yeah, I, think I know we listen to it. it. We definitely yeah. listen to review it. But I don't. I think it, it just has some features on there, maybe. I don't, I'm don't. i just interested to see what Wayne's going to talk about. That Dedication uh, 6, man, listen, he it was, was rapping his face yeah, off. Yeah, he, yeah. Was. He, was, he was doing his thing. He was. He was. He didn't sound like he was washed or anything. No more auto-tune, Wayne. I think he finally got the message yeah. that, like, listen, we don't want that. Yeah, you've been sending blind CCs to him for a while about stop doing auto-tune. Yeah, just so. cancel auto-tune. Like, yeah. to his engineer, like, yo, yeah, listen, yeah. <laughs> I, even if he asks for it, just tell him that you put it on there and don't. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, it's not like they got through, man. Yeah. So we'll see, man. I'm, I'm here for it, though. So, yo, last story we got. Tacony mm. decides to beef with, Sh- with Chief Keef in the whole. Sh- not just Chief Keef, the all whole of Chicago. Chicago. Yeah. So my man takes the red eye to Chicago. Mm-hmm. He goes to the O Block or whatever. Yeah. She records a video, trolls the hell out of them. He's been trolling them so hard. So bad. Takes Chief Keef's baby's mama shopping. Mm. And uh, she looks like Mater, too, by the way. Um, <laughs> but uh, he takes her shopping, filling her up on the Somebody grand. said she looked like Helga from Hey Arnold. I lost it. <laughs> I lost it. <laughs> it's that front tooth. It's like it's fighting the other one. Yeah, it's um, tough. It's tough. But, yo, it. it's just a troll game, bro. And mm. she took the bait, too. And he, he hit up all his other baby mamas, too. But of all the people, though, why would you beef with Chicago? Listen, really Tacony just does what he wants. Like, you know yeah. what? The, I think what it is is he's like, at this point, People love seeing me do what, you know what I'm saying, everybody say it can't be done. Yeah. And, like, he, he was right when he was saying, uh, he was like, you know, I got these people so mad. He's like, it's so 12-year-old right now punching his pillow like, little Reese, get him. He's right there, get him. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, he's kind of exposing all of this stuff. It's like, it's just a farce. Like, none of that stuff matters. Yeah. It's not important. It's not even real. It's, it's all entertainment. Yeah. And I hope that a lot of these rappers start to realize that and stop taking the bait. Yeah. That's really the whole thing. It's like, yeah. yo, yeah. stop yeah. falling for the bait. Yeah. And everyone's on live arguing with him and all this stuff. It's like. That's it what helps. he wants. That's what he wants, man. Yeah. That's what he wants. And they fall for it every time. But what is going to happen, though? I, I do think it's going to end badly, though. You I think, think so? Yeah, man. Because it's I not going to be so. one of the rappers going to shoot him. It's going to be one of these, one of these nah. cats that support him. Yeah, they're going to do something people, to him. People will forget about it before, you know what I'm saying, it, it gets to that point, I think. Because it's like, yo, at the end of the day, what's he really doing? Yeah. He's not really. I mean, okay, he showed up. 
to O Block at four o'clock in the morning, like, and did what exactly? He <laughs> jo- hopped out of car, said he took was a there. video, and hopped back in the car. You left. know how cats get. They he went and got breakfast, <laughs> handed out lo- happy Yo, meals to the homeless. That's the part that made him look horrible. <laughs> yeah. Horrible. He's giving out money. he's giving out food and yeah. money to everybody. So I'm like, yeah, y'all take care of your people. I will. <laughs> yeah. That was like, whoa, wow, yeah, yeah. That was the biggest part. And, to I mean, me. take a cheap keys, baby mama shopping is like, yo, listen, you you treading you treading a fine line. Bro, when here. did fanny packs come back in style? He bought her a Gucci fanny pack. Why not? When you know, did those hey, things listen, come back in style? Everything comes full circle, yeah, man. That's true. 90s, well, and this, 90s well, come well, back that goes back to what Mike Epps said. Y'all these kids tomorrow, y'all you dressing young. Man, this was our clothes. Right. This stuff was around we you're right. wearing you, our stuff. You found this stuff in your <laughs> in your mom's attic, right. okay? Yeah, this is the eighties all over again. Yeah. Yeah. You got anything else? Yes, man. Before we go, man, I just want to uh, pay homage to a legend. Mm. Uh, Lesane Parish Crooks, uh, Tupac Amaro Shakur. Happy birthday, June 16th. You know, uh, we remember a legend, uh, probably the most important hip hop icon oh, that ever lived. Uh, are you denying the facts? <laughs> <laughs> are you denying the facts? <laughs> Happy birthday, Pop. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> show, show some respect. Put some respect on this man's name. Do you know what all. Tupac did for hip hop culture. I mean, he is the most iconic figure in hip hop, arguably, of all time. Uh-huh. And, uh, you know, he gave us such hits as Dear Mama, uh-huh. Keep Your Head Up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, a man that should be honored and praised. We miss you, Pac. Uh, we love you for everything that you did for the game. And I know that you're smiling down on us, man. So thank you and happy birthday to you, my brother. This is Nadir. This is Kev. Yo, drink more water, people. Peace. Peace.